Well, it begins as it must with our mutual friend's predecessor, the beloved original concierge of the Grand Budapest. It begins, of course, with... This was no composition by a performing monkey. This was a music I had never heard. Filled with such longing, such unfulfillable longing. It seemed to me that I was hearing a voice of God. Excuse me. But why? Why would God choose an obscene child to be his instrument? It was not to be believed. This piece had to be an accident, but had to be. Astounding. It was actually, it was beyond belief. These were first and only drafts of music. But they showed no corrections of any kind. Not one. He had simply written down music already finished in his head. Page after page of it, as if he were just taking dictation. No. Go too fast. Mm -hmm. Do you have it? Go too fast. Do you have it? First bassoon to the trombone what? With the tenors. Identical? Of course. The instruments I... doubling the voices. Now, trumpets and timpani, no. trumpets and D. No, no. D listen no, to me. I don't understand. Listen. Trumpets and D. Tonic and dominant, first and third beats. It goes with the harmony. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, I understand. Yes, yes. And that's all. Times have changed. The thermal baths are very beautiful. They were in their first condition. It couldn't be maintained, of course, too decadent for current tastes. But I love it all just the same, this enchanting old ruin. How did you come to buy it, if I may ask? The Grand Budapest. I didn't. If you're not merely being polite, and you must tell me if that's the case, but if it genuinely does interest you, may I invite you to dine with me tonight? And it will be my pleasure, and indeed my privilege, to tell you my story, such as it is. At this point in the story, the old man fell silent and pushed away his saddle of lamb. His eyes went blank as two stones. I could see he was in distress. Are you ill, Mr. Mustafa? I finally asked. Oh, dear me, no, he said. It's only that I don't know how to proceed. He was crying. You see, I never speak of Agatha because, even at the thought of her name, I'm unable to control my emotions. Well, I suppose there's no way around it. You see, she saved us. How do you think of him? I think he's a f***ing peasant. <laughs> hey, Chico. If anything happens to that buy money, pobre <laughs> my boss is gonna stick your heads up your asses faster than a rabbit gets f***ed. I'm scared. Montana, what the f*** is the matter with you? You negotiating for Frank Lopez? Huh? Is that what you worry about him? I am not worried about it. You should worry about it. If he wants to make a deal, it's up to him, not you. We're gonna do this one deal, that's it. How the f that? You need to open your eyes and keep your mouth shut. 
That's it. Let it go at that. Don't worry about it, okay? Wait till you get back. Your head is in the wrong place. You got to watch out for yourself. Why don't you talk to him about it? You think he wants to give you the money to spend? Huh? Just fuck off, will you? I'm doing the talking here, not you. You need to watch my back. Watch my back. Look, I'm putting together a trio. Two guys and a girl singer. You're no front guy, but if you can cut that down to a goatee, stay out of the sun, we might see how your voice works with the other two. You comfortable with harmonies? No. Yes, but um, no. No, I had a partner. Uh-huh, well, that makes sense. My suggestion? Get back together. That's good advice. You like the record? No, no, I didn't get it. Uh, well, um, here it is. Uh, this is, this is it anyway. It's, um, that'll be five dollars. I was joking.